Well, the pandemic swept through nursing homes back when it all started earlier in the year. And now in New Jersey, their numbers are going up again. So what's being done to stop it? Our CBS 2's Kevin Rincon has more from Westwood. Here at CARE 1 at Valley, admissions have been put on pause after several residents tested positive for COVID-19. The outbreak linked to a hospital employee in Bergen County. The State Department of Health says 12 residents and 8 staff members have gotten sick. Statewide, there are active outbreaks at 177 long-term care facilities, with more than 2,600 cases among residents and another 2,000 cases among staff. It's coming in from the community. We know that our communities are seeing a rise uh, throughout all of the regions. Uh, we keep a close eye on that. Health Commissioner Judy Persichelli says one of the big concerns right now is visitation. Uh, it's a risk uh, bringing your, your loved one home. Uh, and, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a risk from our perspective. We don't think it's very po positive. It's not a risk that uh, I think you want to take. Here in Bergen County, where numbers are trending up, there is concern. It's a tragedy, and uh, I just hope that they can resolve this situation, and in the future it won't happen anymore. He says he's seen people let their guards down when it comes to mask usage. I think we're in for a lot of trouble. At this facility and many others like it, they have stepped up safety procedures, but the threat still exists. CARE 1 in a statement says our protocols have changed numerous times since the onset of the pandemic. Those changes include expanded testing. What hasn't changed? the risks associated with the virus. Unfortunately, older people are going to be more vulnerable no matter what. And with winter on the way, no one here wants to see a repeat of what we saw at the height of the pandemic. In Westwood, New Jersey, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News.